Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, it's minus four outside, the office is absolutely Baltic, so I'm going to make this a very quick video. This comes from a question on Facebook, and the user wants to know how can I switch out a texture in Octane Render? Now a lot of people say why do you use Octane Render? Uh, it does have a really good bunch of nodes, uh, don't get me wrong, sometimes you need to go through hurdles to get something done, but sometimes your life is just 10 times easier, and this is using the switch texture node. So if we come to the shader editor here, we go to add, we can search for switch, if I can spell it correctly, and you can see here we have a whole bunch of different nodes. We have a texture switch, we have a material switch, excellent for switching out materials, especially because it can be keyframed. Uh, we have a mission switch. So what we're going to do here is we'll use the texture switch, we'll take the texture out and we'll put this into the albedo and we'll just use a simple RGB colour, uh, just something easy to be honest and we'll plug this into the input one let's make it, let's make it green now I'm going to show you how to use the colour attribute node as well kind of double whammy so if we go to the vertex options here, go to colour attribute and we'll just give it, we'll just make it a vertex colour and we'll just call this colour and we'll hit OK now one thing that you might run into is the viewport doesn't refresh but if we add in the colour attribute node, for example here, colour vertex attribute, and we plug this into the input too, and obviously we need to give it a name, so the reference is colour, so this name essentially pairs up with this name, and if we change the input, I have a funny feeling this won't change, well it did, magic. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but if it doesn't work, all you need to do is just quickly refresh the viewport. And that's how you can pretty much switch a colour. Now, obviously, these values can be keyframed. And I do a lot of car rendering, so I need to switch lights very quickly. And this is one of the advantages of using Octane Render. Now, can you do this in Cycles and Eevee? Yes, you can. Uh, might make a video on that, actually. It's a bit more complicated, to be honest, or it used to be complicated. It's a lot easier these days. Anyway, do me a favour, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and eh, take it easy.